rising demand, growing complexity, an evolving workforce. This is Revolutionizing Automation, presented by DigiKey Electronics. The building behind me here, 2.2 million square feet. So my team was hired to find automated solutions to enhance the janitorial service and material delivery service within this new facility. These solutions allow people to focus on creative things, things that require creative thinking, while the robot they're partnered with is doing another job that they need to execute. So that's the true benefit internally of what projects like this give DigiKey in terms of lift. In this episode, we travel to Omron's new Proof of Concept Center in Dallas, Texas, to discover how the company is bridging the gap between theory and real-world applications. The products that we're doing now and the, the future generations of those are really designed to help allow people to take mundane, repetitive, or in often cases, dangerous tasks and, and have the machines do that and allow the people to do the things that need human intelligence, right? Where people have to make decisions. How you move your, your work and process through a facility, I've actually seen a change in how people are doing that based on the adoption of robotics. I just want to point all the Omron items that you see in this whole cell, right? So the robot is an Omron robot. You've got the light curtain, that's Omron as well. You've got the sensors. We've got the, uh, the panel, and this HMI actually is an HMI PLC all in one. So the PLC is in the back and the HMI is in the front. Uh, you have uh, here the controllers for the vision. You've got the smart controller EX that controls multiple robots. So in this cell, we've got two as controlled by one box. And you have the safety PLC that you can program and have safety IOs, that's why they're red. So all that is still Omron system. So that's why it's, it's easy to talk about a project and, and and bring solutions to the customer's needs. What this cell is supposed to do is pick up all these little objects here based on the camera detecting the objects. It would pick it based on the orientation, put it in the tray, the tray will go back at the end, we'll untray it, bring the tray, put it back, and it's a closed loop system that goes up and around. The robots that we have here are uh, autonomous guided vehicles, but in reality, they're really autonomous mobile robots. Our robots are fundamentally different in their navigation. They use what's called natural feature navigation. And the idea with the natural features is the robot uses what it sees in the environment to move from point to point to point. So there's a primary safety laser, so the laser feeds in information from its environment. Also, there's odometer on the wheels, and we take all that information combine it together so that it allows the robot to know where it is and consequently then to figure out where it is going in the best path to get to the next point. We have multiple different types of robots. We have our smaller robots, which are LD 60s and 90s. We have cart transporters, which are the units you see that have a, a cart structure that's being picked up and moved from point to point. We have what we call the LD250 robot, which is the 250 kilogram payload capacity robot. And then finally, we have the HD1500, and that's the 1500 kilogram capacity robot that we see driving around in the background. All these robots can be programmed the same way, and they can all operate in the same environment, working together with one another and work seamlessly together. So, so moving forward, I see that as, as one of our development paths, is trying to make it easier for, to allow those different pieces of disparate technologies to interact with each other. Because at the end, automation is all about speed, delivering quality and consistency to our customers. And the more we can automate in terms of manufacturing to supplying solutions to customers, they'll get them when they want them, as fast as possible, the highest consistency and quality. And that's what the end game is all about. Learn more about the latest in automation components from industry leaders like Omron at digikey.com.